and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my favorite makeup look. It's sort of my everyday makeup look that I've been doing for probably about a year now and I must say that I really love it. It's like super glam and rose goldish but still very easy and subtle and suitable just for every day. So if you want to know how I achieved the look that you're currently seeing then just keep on watching. Okay, you'll now witness me coming to my makeup table. I have my hair pushed back with a headband just to keep my hair out of the face. And I'm gonna start by using the MAC Face and Body Foundation, which is my favorite foundation because it's so lightweight and you can blend it really easily. It's actually one of those foundations that make your skin look good. It doesn't look like you have a nice foundation on and it just looks like you have a nice skin. And I'm blending it with my fingers because I find that that way it's the most natural result and also you can just build it up more easily. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm just really subtly moving it with my fingers and everything really nicely so that there's no cakiness and no excess foundation. Then I'm going in with my concealer. I think this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I like it because there are so many shades you can choose from and it's actually one of the best concealers you can get in a drugstore. So I'm using that and just popping it under my eyes and on any areas that I kind of want to conceal a little bit. I don't know if you can see but I have a little blemish on my forehead right here so I'm paying some extra attention right here. Um, but mainly I just use it under my eyes and kind of conceal my tiredness <laughs> that I seem to have every single day. Again, I'm using my fingers here because I find that that way it's the most natural um, result. I find if you use foundation brushes or concealer brushes, they often just move around the foundation and just take up a lot of product but make you look cakey and I don't know, the coverage is not alright. So yeah, in order to set my concealer and make it last all day, I'm gonna use my powder and I'm gonna link it down below because I actually don't know which one it is. Um, but I'm testing myself with this new, I don't know if it's new, but it's something that every makeup guru is doing, um, this method called baking, where it's basically you just put on a lot of powder on the areas that you've used your concealer on for me it's definitely under the eyes and you just put massive amount of powder on and then you're gonna let it sit while doing the rest of your makeup and brush it off at the end and every single time i try it i forget to brush it off at the end so let's see if i'm gonna remember this time but yeah i'm just using a big um powder brush in order to powder the rest of my face and just even everything out because the powder and the foundation do have slight color difference so I just want there to be a nice really thin layer of powder everywhere so it's all the same color and then I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Hula bronzer this is my favorite bronzer out of all time um, I just find that it's the only bronzer that doesn't look yellow or doesn't look like I've just came out of a sun studio like yeah, so I'm just going to go under my cheekbones um, where I'm going to put it a little more heavily um, just to contour my face and make my face not look like a giant pancake. Um, and then I'm just going to go like next to my eyes and my forehead but really just using a light amount of product here because I don't want to have like really dark spots and really light spots so I'm just kind of using less product right here also i find that my overall complexion looks a lot healthier like that um and just brings me <laughs> a little bit more life to give my cheeks some color i'm gonna use a blush and this one is the mac melba blush i've repurchased this around a hundred times already i love it um it's just a really subtle peachy color that looks healthy but not like you put on a lot of makeup. So that's what I'm using right here. 
And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And I'm gonna use that as a highlighter. So I'm gonna use a really light and feathery brush and then just um, contour or highlight my cheekbones and maybe a little bit of my nose and forehead or whatever I feel like that day. Now that we have the face complete, I'm gonna move over to the eyes, um, which is really important. And the most important part out of everything is to do your eyebrows. That makes the most difference. And I'm gonna use, um, I don't know what's it called, it's L'Oreal um, product that has basically gel and color and something to make your eyebrows stick in the way that you brush them. So I'm just gonna use that and brush my eyebrows um, till they're all filled in and in place and just it'll look a lot prettier than without. <laughs> But really, I find this frames the face and just that's the moment where I think the transformation is happening when you're doing your makeup. So never, never skip your eyebrows. And then I'm going to use a primer for eyeshadow so that it lasts all day. And you'll see me using a brush that is actually a lipstick brush. But I find that whenever I use it, oops, there it went against the wall. Um, but I find whenever I use it, um, my nails just get all the product. <laughs> so I'm going to use a brush in order to get in there. And then I'm applying it on my eyelids. Next, I'm going to use a shimmery gold champagne -y eyeshadow. And I'm just using a fluffy brush in order to place that on my eyelids. I'm going to just pop it on the whole of my eyelids. I'm going to blend it later. But that's like the base color of my eye makeup. So I'm just going to put it all over my eyelids. Next, I'm going to use um, a light champagne -y color. I'm going to use the first one that is in the Naked palette. Um, but you can use any kind of bright, creamy champagne -y color. And I'm just going to use a really fluffy brush and put it in like the inner corners of my eyes and then blend it on that gold color. So I'm just putting the product really in the inner corner and then just blending it. And um, that color is also what I'm going to use underneath my brow bones. And now I'm searching for a brush that is like really slim. And I'm just going to take some dark brown. Um, this right here is the color Naked. So it's not really dark. It's more natural. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. You could also use your bronzer if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to use this color and I'm just going to draw like an outer V on, on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just going to blend it. And that way it just looks like a shadow and it looks really nice and natural. Um, but I'm not going to do like a heavy cat eye look whatsoever because it still is an everyday makeup. And... Then I'm taking my lash curler and curling my lashes so that they have a voluminous look to them and just look pretty. I actually filmed this routine one cut and just did my makeup how I would do it every day and it took me exactly 11 minutes. So if that's your time frame in the morning, then this might be for you. I am using my Maybelline mascara on my lashes and this is actually the only mascara I could find in a drugstore that is brown and I think a brown mascara looks way better on blondes, it's way more natural and it doesn't look as harsh as a black mascara would. So I really love this one, um, I'm gonna try and find it on Amazon to link it but I'm sure you can find it in any drugstore over the world. I think Maybelline is pretty accessible to everyone. And I'm gonna repeat that on my other eye and just brushing it up and down. And I usually have about one coat of mascara because I really don't like the look of a lot of mascara. And I'm also just doing it on my upper lashes because I find that using mascara on your lower lashes just crumbles down over the day. It makes it look all smudgy, so I'm just using it on my upper lashes. 
And to finish off, I'm using a um, lip pencil and just outline my lips. Um, I'm not doing the Kylie Jenner effect where I'm crazily overlining my lips. I'm just really drawing on the line of my lips. And just fill that in to give it some color and to give it some color. And I'm just outlining my lips right here. And I am using a color that is a little bit darker than my actual lips. But that way it's just the your lips but better effect. So it looks really natural but still gives me some color. And just draws a little more attention to my lips. Then searching my lip gloss. I'm gonna use a lip gloss. On that day I used a Chanel lip gloss. Um, which is in a peachy color. Um, really light as well and with no glitter or anything in it because I really like it to look natural but glossy. So that's what I used that day and I just blended it with the lip liner. I have not used any lipstick because I find that just smudges and that's me done. So that is my everyday makeup look. That's probably how I leave the house every day if I'm leaving it. Because let's be honest, in the current situation, I'm not really leaving the house. But if I do, then that's what I'm going to do. Except maybe leave out the lipstick and the lip gloss. Because honestly, if I'm wearing a face mask, no one's going to see it. But other than that, I hope you really enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you like this. And tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see. Bye!